Hi, I'm Miss Shelley, and welcome to my science show. In our episode on pushes and pulls, I beat cameraman Dave at a game of air hockey at the arcade. But today we're going to take a look at some push and pull activities you can try yourself. Miss Shelley's science show. For this activity, I found a ribbon, a pinwheel, a small basketball game, a toy airplane, and a toy car. But you can really use any toys that you can find around your home or school. Before you select your materials for this activity, let's pause and listen to our Ronnie's rule. Always be mindful of your surroundings. When using push or pull toys, you don't want them to go under a piece of furniture or slam against something and possibly break. We know that pushes and pulls are forces. A push is when you move something away from you, and a pull is when you move something towards you. All you're going to do is simply think a little bit more about what you are doing with your toys when you are using them. For example, my ribbon, I can push and I can pull, but I'm going to pause and think, what am I doing when I'm moving my ribbon? Push, pull. Same thing when I use my pinwheel. I can push my pinwheel with my breath because it is moving away from me. Now when I play with my basketball game, I'm going to pull down on this lever that when I let go, will push the basketball into the hoop. My toy airplane, I'm going to push it away from me. And then my toy car, I can do both. I can push it away from me and pull it towards me. I can push it gently. I can pull it hard. I can push it hard. So the next time you're playing with your toys, Think a little bit more about if you're using a push or a pull to interact with them. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time on another episode of Miss Shelley's Science Show.